Hey, it's Offing Student here, and today I'm going to showcase a little program I created that allows me to move a square using keyboard inputs. And the main point of this is that I'm able to use multiple keyboard inputs at the same time to move diagonally. And this is just very simply done using Boolean properties. But first, let me just showcase the program a bit more. I can move around and diagonally, and I have a reset button. Very simple. Let's have a look at the FXML. So the FXML for this program is pretty simple. We just have a shape with an ID, a reset button that calls a method, an action, and a anchor pane with an ID as well. Inside our controller, where all the magic happens, we have these Boolean properties, which is kind of like the main setup and what we're using to actually make this work, where a Boolean property is just very simple object that allow us to have a Boolean value stored. And we do a bit more than just a Boolean value, that's why we're using these Boolean properties. It allows us to use a boolean binding, which is a boolean value as well. It simply checks if, in this case, if this is true, be true, or if this is true, be true, or if this is true, be true, and so on. And we can add a listener later on so when this is changed. So when it's changed from true to false or false to true. So if any of these are pressed or not pressed anymore, we can do stuff. But we're going to look at that shortly. Then just have an int value that defines how fast up the moving. We then have our rectangle and our anchor pane. We then have our button. Whenever we click the button, we just simply move our shape to a specific position, in this case, the middle of the screen. We then have our animation timer, which is a timer when started that runs every frame. So in this case, we're able to run a timer that runs every frame where we simply check if W is pressed, move, in this case, minus on the Y axis, we point up, S is pressed, move plus on the X axis, and Y axis as well, that's down, and so on. In this case, we can just simply check each key put in port. W is a D, which I'm using for up, down, left, and right. And check if they are pressed, move this direction. In this case, if multiple are pressed, we can move diagonally. So if I'm just pressing W, I'm moving up, if we can do W and S, I'm not moving at all because we're technically moving up and down at the same time. If I'm just clicking D right, A left, D and W, in this case we have this kind of free feeling of free movement. We then insert our initialize statement, which is the method called whenever the program starts, more or less. We just have a movement setup, which we're going to be demonstrating shortly. We then add a listener to our key pressed, which is our Boolean binding, as mentioned, whenever this changes, so whenever I key is pressed, or whenever the value, the boolean value of a key pressed through a false is changed, we then do this check, and then we have an observable value, which is the value from our boolean property, we're not really using this. We then have the app boolean, which is simply, rather not this boolean binary is actually true or false, so if any of these are pressed, and this is not it, because we need, if it's not, not pressed, it's a bit confusing, but just need to do not the boolean. So in this case, whenever a key is pressed, we get the false value, we then change this to a true value, then start our timer, then the timer starts, checks, 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 checks. Whenever we then stop pressing a key, this one checks again, because now one of the value is changed, and we then see it's no longer true, true false in this case, and we then stop our timer, so we stop moving. And our movement setup is just simply a lot of checks. It simply checks whenever we get a keyboard input, in this case, set on key press. Whenever a key on the keyboard is pressed, we check if this pressed key is W, A, S, O, D. If it is any of these, we're going to set it. If it's W, set W pressed boolean property to true. It then sets this to true, then updates this. This one have made a change, so we call, call this listener, and it then checks whether it has changed, yada yada. We then start the timer. Then whenever, if I click W, I then have been set, seen dot set on key release. So whenever I release the W key, I will then have my W pressed value set to false, and then we we'll stop the timer and stop the movement. So that's pretty much the setup. It might seem a bit confusing, but it actually isn't. Just very simple check if a key is pressed. Start the timer, move in the direction of the keys pressed. We 
whenever we release all the keys, stop the timer. And this could technically be expanded to check and rather not a lot of keys pressed and specific combinations, but it's pretty much just the, the basic understanding of a way of doing multiple keyboard inputs in Java FX. So if you enjoyed this video, please give a like and subscribe and I wish you all a wonderful day.